what's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before thank you for returning if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you are notified every single time I drop a video and you don't miss not one video everybody in here smash that like button share this video and drop a comment down below during the video after the video before the video whatever you feel let me know what you think let me know what you like about the video let me know what you want to see next you saw by the title and the thumbnail we got a good one so let's get straight into this groom also you guys make sure you are watching the ads all the way through I know some of them can be a little lengthy but watch them as much as you can as long as you can as best as you can it helps to support this channel it helps to support me it helps to allow me to do this on more of a full-time basis in the future and it helps just to get me back out to the algorithm but with that being said let's get back into the groom okay so this is my little old guy buddy and just like the title said he is 15 years old and he has not been groomed in several years he has not been groomed i want to say at the very minimum uh, over three years and as you can see he's in really bad shape throughout his groom i find a couple of things that are wrong and pretty much just the owner needs to take the dog to the vet i had the conversation with her when she picked them up about my concerns and i will get into all of that a little further into the video but like i said this is my little old guy buddy and he is being shaved down because as you can see he has about seven to nine inches of hair on him probably a little longer than that if it's washed and blown out but we're just going to go with seven to nine inches of hair and she wanted him shaved down completely this is not the first time he's been shaved he actually used to go to one of the other groomers in the salon that i'm working at now but she hadn't seen him in years and then he was going to her niece and she hadn't seen him in years so he hasn't been groomed in a while he's in pretty bad shape and it's just really sad to see that a 15 year old dog is living like this because it's just it's just really bad conditions so today for his groom we're going to be shaving him down i'm doing his pre-clip in a four blade just because in my personal opinion they get cleaner when they have a little bit of hair on them and the four blade seems to be the sweet spot so i shave him down in a four blade and then after that i go over his final cut in a seven blade because she wants him cut pretty close and pretty short i did not want to go to a 10 blade because that exposes a lot of skin and i didn't want him to get sunburn on top of all the other issues that he has going on with him and i can tell after his grooming he was very relieved he got a lot of spunk in him once i started washing him he started moving became very lifelike so it was it was a pleasure to see him kind of brighten up once he had all of that heavy hair off of him now what i think happens but i'm not completely sure so don't hold me to this but i think she'll get him groomed by a groomer and then wait a while and then take him to a different groomer get him groomed by that groomer wait a while then take him to a different groomer get him groomed by that groomer just because the amount of hair he had the amount of undercoat that was compacted in there and he had a couple of infections it's just it's just really bad and then on top of that he also urinated on himself inside the kennel while he was there and he laid all in so he was covered in pee while i was shaving him down and it was just it was a lot it was a lot for him especially for his age and i really just wanted to give him some relief so we were told that he's a pekingese but it to me he looks like a tibetan spaniel i don't know if you guys know what that is but it's pretty much it looks like a bigger pekingese basically and that's what he looks like to me i don't know you guys let me know in the comments what you think he is but for me he looks like a tibetan spaniel so I was just really happy to get all of that hair off of him because I can tell he was just as you can see he's just there he's just existing but once all that hair gets out he's just so happy and, and he's a happy dog just in general you'll see him wag his tail just a little bit while I'm shaving him down I have one of my co-workers step in and kind of just hold him while I'm shaving him down because I'm shaving in a sensitive area and I can tell he was in a bit of pain 
So I just had her hold him and comfort him while I was shaving him down and he seemed to enjoy that. He loves the attention. You'll see my boss she comes in there and she pets him too because we when we get dogs like this when any groomer gets dogs like this you feel bad because they're in such bad shape and it's like why why have your dog in this condition and i completely understand that things happen with people and you can't necessarily always get your dog to the groomer you know life happens to a lot of people people get health issues you know they suffer from a lot of different things hardship so i get it completely but when you see things like this it's it's just heartbreaking because you don't know their backstory you don't know the owner's backstory and you don't want to pry you don't want to ask them questions and kind of scold them for their dog to look like this and you don't want to make it seem like you're judging them because people who have dogs that look like this already have a hard time bringing their dog to a grooming salon because they are ashamed of how the dog looks so you try not to judge them and scold them and kind of just make them feel a way about their dog looking like that because again like i said life happens to everybody so sometimes it's hard to do the right thing and it's harder for us to see it but in my mind at least they brought him to a grooming salon to get cleaned up and get a bath and get a haircut and be more comfortable at his age and i know you guys are wanting me to move the camera but as you can see this is more of a groom where i really have to pay attention and can't really shuffle the camera around i do move the camera when i am doing one of his nails because you'll see in the video and it's actually coming up one of his nails is almost like embedded into almost all of his dewclaw paw pad so it is really infected and it's oozing when i go to clip it so i'll move the camera so you guys can see that but in terms of while i'm shaving him down it's more of like a delicate situation so i kind of wanted to focus on that as opposed to moving the camera around and this is one of my older videos so i just again like i said i really wanted to focus on the dog as opposed to moving the camera around but i tried my best to kind of shave where y'all could still see stuff and kind of be mindful of like my arm placement because i know some people say that my arm is usually in the way but sometimes it's how you have to hold the clippers and some things are a little bit out of my hand but i tried my best with this one to do what i could while i was shaving this dog down but for a 15 year old dog my primary focus was the dog as opposed to the camera placement So right around this area is where I found out that he had an infection right where his front male genitalia is were. Because I don't know what word I can say on YouTube because I don't want them to flag me. So if you, if you know what I'm saying, it's where he urinates and there was an infection in there. As you can see, she reacted the way I did because the smell is very, very vile. So... I was trying to shave around it. You can tell it itches a lot. And all throughout me grooming him, even after his bath, it was still oozing. So like I said earlier, I did let the owner know, hey, you might want to take him to the vet, get him checked out because this is an infection and it's really bad. And he is super uncomfortable. So you might want to get him checked out sooner rather than later. 
and when I told the owner that she thought I was talking about something completely different and when I showed her what it was she was like oh okay so I do believe that she got him checked out from the vet but I wanted to make sure I let her know to get him checked out because of how bad it was and it just kept oozing and the smell that came from it so I do believe she got him checked out by a vet And right here is where I have my coworker step in just so she can hold him and kind of get him comfortable while I am shaving out his sensitive area and just so he doesn't jerk or move around or shift too quickly so he doesn't get injured or anything. And she did really well. She comforted him really, really well. Now, new groomers, when you have a dog like this that is in really bad shape, you kind of just want to go in the pace of the dog. You want to make sure that he is comfortable or she is comfortable and that you are not doing anything or trying to force him through anything. I had him laid down because I do realize that sometimes for some dogs laying down while they're being shaved out is more comforting to them as you can see he's kind of just laying on her just kind of taking in what's going on and just allowing it to happen so sometimes laying down for dogs like this is better than standing standing up especially at his age being 15 years old it is easier for him to lay down as opposed to stand on his feet for the whole groom
now here is where I am trying to figure out how to clip the nail but I'm also going to move the camera so you guys can see what I'm looking at it is a dew claw like I said earlier embedded in his paw pads and it's in there pretty deep it's about halfway in there and it is actually oozing so you'll see when I clip the nail I'll pull it out and you'll can you can see the ooze from the nail to the paw pad and it's just it's terrible and I feel so bad because I know it hurts and it hurt him when I clipped it because he can feel that and it may have shifted and he was in pain I just I don't like doing things like this because I feel so bad but I knew it would be worse if I leave it in as opposed to clipping it out so I clipped his nail and you guys saw it it just I hate it I don't like dogs to be in bad shape like this
so for his bath I'm gonna soak him in some medicated shampoo and then I'm gonna wash him in a protein shampoo so the first wash is gonna be medicated just to kind of help with his skin because the skin was itchy and irritated and also to help with the infections that he has and then I'm gonna wash him in a protein shampoo just to kind of again go over that same medicated shampoo and just add some protein to his skin and his coat and some moisture back into his skin and his coat So I want to hop in and say one of the comments that I recently had was don't you think that you're using too much shampoo on the dog. So I actually do not use a lot of shampoo. I use more water than shampoo because the more you wet the dog, the more the dog is wet, the more the soap is going to lather up. So while it looks like it's a lot of shampoo, it's actually not. I use as minimal shampoo as possible because it takes one way longer to rinse out when you use a lot of shampoo and you also don't want to really overly dry out the coat when you're washing them so what I do is I thoroughly wet the coat so as you can see I just really really rinsed them and wet them really good and then I went through with the shampoo and that actually is what created all of the suds and all of the soap and why it looks like it's so much soap but it's really not also we use mixing bottles so it's not a lot of soap in there as opposed to the water so the soap to water ratio is not even we actually use more water than soap because you want to actually dilute the shampoo so it's not really much soap as opposed to water So this is the medicated shampoo that I'm using. It is chlorhexidine or chlorhexidine. And I actually find it to be really, really good on dogs that have really bad skin or irritated skin. And it helps a lot with like flaky skin and skin that's peeling. So I went through and used that on his body to just kind of help soothe the skin and soothe all of those irritated areas.
So now after letting the shampoo sit on him for about 10 minutes, I'm going to go in and rinse it off. And then I'm going to wash him with the protein shampoo by Quadrupid just to add some moisturization to his coat. And it's also going to condition his skin and his coat as well. Now for the drying purposes, when I pulled him off the tub and put him on the drying table, I could have swore I hit record, but I didn't and I didn't catch his drying but I did not dry him that long because he's 15 so I literally just went over him with the dryer for about two minutes just to get the majority of the moisture off of him and then I let him kennel dry because he's older you don't want to use the high velocity dryer too long you don't want his heart to start racing him have a heart attack or anything like that so I went over him a little bit with the dryer and then I let him kennel dry while I worked on another dog
so now I'm pulling him out to do his final cut and for his final cut I'm gonna do a seven blade on him because like I said earlier the mom wants him really short and I think that is because so she can get the most out of the haircut because she doesn't get him groomed that often so I'm gonna be switching to a seven blade as opposed to a four blade and I'm going to shave him down with that and during his grooming process you're gonna see me put him up in a sling and that is so I can do his feet and his legs without any issues because he's 15 years old I don't want him to have to stand through me doing his feet and his legs and he struggled with that so I just put him in a sling so he kind of just has to hang there and hang cool while I do his feet and his legs So this is actually the groomer that he used to go to years ago and she told me that he came in like this all the time and she would shave him down in a template because that's what the owner would ask for, for him to be shaved super short to the skin because she doesn't get him groomed that often. So this is kind of like a consistent thing for him that he comes in like this and you know it kind of sucks because it's like you know your dog can get uncomfortable just like you can but again I try not to prejudge people because you don't know what they're going through in their life and right now we're discussing his nose trying to figure out what it is and my boss said I believe she said it was a hyperpsychosis and it's just an overgrowth of protein on their nose and there is a butter for it that you can put on the nose so if your dog has that on his nose there is a butter and a cream that you can put on it to kind of help moisturize the nose and kind of soften it up
So I just want to say to everybody that has a dog like this, or even the dog that they are worried about bringing into the grooming salon, just bring your dog in. The worst thing you can do is not bring your dog in and let the dog's condition get worse. Sometimes you just have to grit your teeth and take a minute. I know you're going to feel embarrassed because you haven't taken care of your dog and you feel like you know we're going to judge you but we actually prefer you just bring the dog in as opposed to not bring the dog in and the dog gets worse so if you are contemplating worrying about getting judged or don't worry about any of that worry about your dog's condition and just bring your dog in because we care more about the dog than worrying about whether or not you bring the dog in or honestly worrying about your feelings we care more about you bringing the dog in we understand that life happens life happens to us too and to be honest as groomers most of us don't even groom our own dogs now we don't let them really get in bad bad shape but for the most part we don't even groom our own dogs we will stretch a grooming appointment out until you can't stretch it out anymore so we understand again you know time getting away and like oh wow okay my dog needs to be groomed don't worry about that just bring your dog in i promise you it's so much better if you just bring your dog in you can also find somebody that will groom your dog for free there are some places in different states that will do that just like there are places in different states that will give vaccines for free for people who just can't afford it or for people who have fell on hard times and their dog really needs it there are places out there that will do it that will groom your dog for free just to get your dog back up on its feet and get it in good condition and you can start getting your dog on a good routine plan now what i will say is don't get your dog groomed for free and then let it go again and then it happens like this again just don't do that to your dog it's your dog will be much happier if it is you know on a consistent basis and even if it's not on a six to eight week schedule like like most groomers recommend even every couple months maybe three months four months we don't typically like to wait that long but whatever your financial situation is try and do it around that and just kind of help the dog so the dog is not suffering or anything like that
so the reason why I'm putting him in a sling is because I need him to stand up while I am doing his legs and his paw pads and I don't want to have to force him to stand up so I put him in a sling so he's more comfortable so all he has to do is just kind of relax and let me do everything that I need to do so that's why I'm putting him in a sling because I know you guys are gonna ask why I put him in a sling and that's why
Okay, so now that my old man buddy is all done, we're gonna take a quick flashback look at what he looked like when he first came in. This is his before and this is his after. I think he looks absolutely adorable, especially with his little snaggle tooth. Oh my God, he's so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that like button, share this video, drop a comment down below, do all that fancy YouTube stuff. I love you guys. Train your dogs for grooming. Make sure you watch every video straight through. Watch those ads. Enjoy the videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Love you guys.